What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Peter. I'm a 767 airline pilot and today I'm going to answer a question I've been getting asked a lot lately, mostly in my comments section asking what's better to fly? passengers or cargo. So I've flown for three major airlines, two of which were legacies, one passenger legacy airline and one cargo legacy airline. And here are my personal pros and cons to each of those. First, the pro for flying passengers at a passenger legacy airline is the fact that you get flight benefits on that airline, meaning you, your spouse, domestic partner, companion, your parents, your children, your dependents get to fly for free. So if you're a pilot at Delta, United, American, Southwest, you and your significant others get to fly for free. Definitely the best perk that we have. Definitely something that I know I and my friends and family definitely took advantage of. They got to fly from New York, from Florida, to Europe, to South America, all around the country, pretty much all around the world. Any city that that airline services, your specific travel companions or spouse is able to fly there for free as well. Unfortunately, flying for a cargo company, we don't fly people. So my parents, my non-existent significant other, uh, no travel companion, no kids, no one can fly for free on that airline. We can take other pilots to fly, that we can, they can deadhead and jump seat on us. However, we're unable to take our family with us, which is obviously a huge bummer. The next pro for flying for a passenger company would be the fact that I had crew with me. So not only did I have another pilot with me, but I also had flight attendants. So when we had layovers in different cities around the country or different cities around the world, I was able to not only go out with the other person I was flying with, but with the two, three, four, six flight attendants I was also flying with. So that is definitely a pro if you're a people person, if you enjoy spending time with other people and meeting new friends. Conversely, flying for a cargo company have no flight attendants. So it's me and either one or two other pilots, depending on the length of the flight, and that's it. So if you don't really get along with the person you're flying with or you're not really interested in hanging out with them, it's kind of a numbers game. You're not gonna have any other in the back that's gonna be able to uh, keep you busy on your layovers. The last one I put in the pros list for flying over a passenger company would be the fact that I got to actually fly my friends and family. So my dad was my passenger, my mom was my passenger, I had friends that were passengers on my flights, and there is nothing cooler, in my opinion, than flying the ones that you care most about. I mean, my mom and dad are the reason I am where I am today, so to be able to do my job and fly them to a cool city was something that I'll never forget. Again, flying for a cargo company, unfortunately, we're not allowed to take up passengers that aren't pilots, so my mom and dad will never have the opportunity to fly with me at my current legacy cargo company. Now for the cons of flying for the passenger airline. The biggest one has to be the people. So I know that might sound really bad. Uh, I'm a people person. I love interacting with whether it's people on my flight or customers in the airport. I'm all for that, I love doing that. With that being said, we all watch the news lately, we've all seen Twitter and Instagram and social media. There's some crazy people out there. And as the pilot on those flights, you have to usually deal with that. Maybe not directly, you don't have to get up and wrestle them out of the plane, but there are people that are unruly that need to be removed and that's gonna affect your job as a pilot, whether you're coordinating with law enforcement or with uh, higher up managers, it's something that is just an extra factor and extra stressor on your job. Best saying I have at my current cargo company is, boxes don't complain. So when the plane gets loaded up and we're ready to go, there's no one's shipment of shoes or iPhones or whatever else is in the back that are gonna complain about the temperature or are gonna get air sick or anything like that. It just goes a lot more smoothly. To kind of piggyback on that people thing being a con of the passenger airlines, there's a lot of external factors. So for example, gate agents, security, law enforcement, flight attendants, all these other people that kind of affect your job. A lot of the times they're great interactions, however they can be added stressors. So what I mean by that is your number one priority and your number one job duty is to fly the airplane safely from A to B. However, if a flight attendant has an issue or a gate agent has an issue or security has an issue with a passenger, with the plane, whatever it may be, you have to deal with that. You have to interact with them, you have to talk to them about it, you have to solve that problem. Flying cargo, you don't have flight attendants, you don't have gate agents, it's just you, the pilot. Yeah, you have maintenance to deal with, you have dispatch to deal with, of course, um, you have handlers to deal with, all of that for sure, but once you push back from the gate, it's you and another pilot. You're not gonna get a 
call to the cockpit saying, hey, we just had a passenger throw up. All right, well, what do we do? Do we go back to the gate? Do we um, delay the flight? Whatever it may be, when it's just you and the other pilot, it goes a lot more smoothly and it's a lot more enjoyable. The next big difference between passenger and cargo would have to be, I don't wanna say your uniform, because we all have uniform standards and we all have to look professional, clean shaven, that's all the same, passenger or cargo. But when I was flying for the passenger legacy airline, you're walking through the terminal, all eyes are on you. So your hat, your blazer, your tie, your beard, your whatever it may be, your baggy eyes from lack of sleep, all eyes are on you. So you really have to look the part, act the part, all that stuff 24 seven, I felt like I had to be on. Same with the cargo, you mean all eyes are on you. So the rampers, maintenance, there are people, the person driving you to and from the hotel, eyes are on you, so you still have to look professional. Your uniform has to be dry cleaned, uh, your tie has to be on, your shirt can't have stains on it, your beard has to be shaven, that all applies. But you're not walking through JFK Terminal 4 and having 8,000 people look at you. It's pretty much maybe you pass three or four people on your way to the jet. It's a lot more relaxing. Number one thing that I like the most about flying cargo over passengers is the fact that my main job is flying the airplane, period. So we get pushed back from the gate, we fly from A to B with the cargo in the back, we set the parking brake, we get off the jet, and within five minutes, we're on our way to the hotel. And the passenger airlines gotta wait for the people to the plane, bags are missing, sometimes the jet bridge won't pull up, all these external factors that I never really considered until I started flying cargo that make the job just a lot more busy, stressful, uh, annoying sometimes, uh, that you don't deal with in the cargo world. Another pro and con between passengers and cargo, this one's silly, this is definitely like an ego one, but it's so true. When I meet people at social events, get to talking about what you do for a living, you tell them you're an airline pilot, when I tell them I work for a cargo company, they always go like, oh, well, do you have any interest in ever flying passengers? Uh, they obviously don't know my background, I flew passengers for years and years and years, but they, I think cargo pilots have that stigma of lesser, if that makes sense. Um, you know, the general public doesn't always know the pay, the benefits, the quality of life that come from each different company because they're all gonna be different. So again, the pro of flying for a passenger airline is, oh, you fly for Delta, you fly for United, you fly for American. If they like that airline, they're gonna think that you're at the best place. When you tell them you fly for Amazon or for FedEx or for UPS, they're kind of like, oh, well, you just fly boxes, that's not really that cool. It kinda can drive you down a notch or two. So again, I don't wanna say it's a necessarily a pro or con, definitely don't make your decision on where you might wanna go fly based on that, but it's something that I thought I would put in. Definitely a lot more pros and cons to each company that I've worked at. If you wanna know more specifics about each one of them, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me first so I can actually see the message. Comments, questions below as always, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back again soon.